Lynn Hall, your host, and we're so glad we, that you're with us on this Friday night. I don't know about where you live, but it's getting a lot cooler in the mountains, but I will tell you that the leaves are probably the most beautiful I've ever seen. I'm going to be doing some songs tonight out of the old Red Book hymnal, if you want to sing them along with me. I think that first song I'm going to do is on page six, if you've got your Red Book hymnal and you want to sing along. Amen. We're going to have church here tonight. I'll be sharing our special guest here in just a little while. But let's just enter into worship. You want to? While traveling through this world of sorrow, I'm on my
so good to be with you this evening and as always I trust you've had a wonderful day and a great week and uh, it's time to take a few moments and worship and praise his holy name I always like it as Gwen starts out just singing unto the Lord he's worthy of all our praises well guess what our prayer partners are here they come faithfully Monday through Friday to take your call if you need a, uh, to have prayer, we want to join you in prayer for any need that you may have. Uh, it could be spiritual, financial, family problems, whatever. Uh, give us a call and let us join our faith with yours, lifting that need up before the Father. And Gwen likes those praise reports. So uh, if you've got a good praise report that where God's done something for you, just Give us a call and share that too. Because by sharing those, it helps build the faith of others that are going through uh, maybe the similar same situation that God has just helped you with. So give us a call and get those prayer requests in. Gwen, a good day. Absolutely. And a good time good to evening. worship. Yeah, it's been a good good evening. Enjoying the leaves as we came down and just 
You can tell fall is in the air. Oh, yes. What I like most of all is when I can sit down over there at that pen. I like mm -hmm. mine at home and just just get lost in his presence. It would have been so easy just to stay there for a while. I mean, you just, you know, maybe you can't play the piano, but I'll tell you one thing you can do. You can worship him. I know there's a lot of times when we've mm -hmm. laid down for the evening and I'll just get a song on my heart or I'll just sing to the Lord one way. That's right. And he loves it when we take the time to just worship him. I don't know the words. It don't matter. Let it just come out of your heart. That's it. And, you know, he inhabits our praises. Yes, he does, Wayne. Uh, and it just draws him nearer and us nearer to him. Uh, it's that fellowship that he so desires. Well, that's the word, too. He said, if we draw nigh to him. He'll draw nigh. He'll draw nigh to us. And, you know, I, I, I don't even know how many minutes we've got here in this segment. But I can remember one night at, at the big house where... We had retired for the evening, had gone upstairs, and all of a sudden there was just this, almost like this wind, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. This wind filled the room. It was his presence, his fragrance, and it was for a good little while there. Well, you didn't want to move. You didn't want to move, and I don't know if I could have moved, <laughs> but his presence was so sweet. And sometimes, Wade, we limit God. Oh, yes. You know, and we that... have to have this done at this time, this done at that time, when we just needed just take that time and bask in his presence. That's right. It's awesome, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it is. I could just get lost talking about it tonight because he is so good. The numbers there on your screen, our prayer partners are here tonight. We would love to hear some good praise reports. Now we're going to be praying over your request as well, but just know they come faithfully Monday through Friday because they love you and and they care for you. And so, and why we've got special guests in the house tonight. We do, and I'll tell you. Uh, our, you our viewers, you're in for a treat tonight. I'm in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Upright is in the house tonight. I'm telling you, we, I've known him for many, many years, and, and he's going to do our music throughout the evening. And we're just going to stay in this worship tonight. You know, God has moved, and he is blessed. And so we're just going to, we're going to say now's a good time for you to pick up the phone. If you've got a request, I would love to hear some praise reports, wouldn't you? Absolutely. It's been a little while. We, God's moving and blessing and we want to hear those praise reports tonight in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Well, we're going to go to Mike up right, right now. He's going to do a song, God Can Turn Your Train Around. Amen. Let's make him welcome, Mike Upright. <laughs> circumstance be worried far behind say a prayer leave your burdens there look the devil in the eye God can turn your train around it happens all the time God knows what he's doing my God has a plan the master of won't ask the common man When I don't know his mind I can trust his heart He does all things right God can turn your train around It happens all the time Amen God can turn your train around He's your troubled mind Take your eyes off circumstance, be worried far behind. Say a prayer, leave your burdens there, look the devil in the eye. God can turn your train around, it happens all the time. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
You might feel like you're going the wrong way. God can turn that around. God loves happy endings. Your victory's round the bend. So hold on a little longer, child, while he holds to your hand. It's not always on the mountaintop where the best of views are found. Some things only grow in a valley like you're doing now. God can turn your train around, ease your troubled mind. Take your eyes off circumstance, be worried far behind. Say a prayer, leave your burdens there, look the devil in the eye. God can turn your train around. It happens all the time. I like this part. And even if he chooses not to answer prayer my way, he is God and I still praise him anyway. God can turn your train around. He's your troubled mind. Take your eyes off circumstance, be worried far behind. Say a prayer, leave your burdens there, look the devil in the eye. God can turn your train around, it happens all the time. God can turn your train around. It happens all the time. Oh, aren't you glad when things get going the wrong way, God can turn that train around. Got a wonderful scripture this evening. Going to touch on it's out of Proverbs three and it's five and six and it's very familiar and it reads like this trust in the lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths aren't you so glad that he does and that he can direct your paths you know that's the road i want to be on is the one that he would have me to be on. Uh, not my way, but his way. And there's a great big difference in uh, traveling my own way uh, and as opposed to traveling his. When you know where it says, uh, for us, lean not to our own understanding. Many times we get caught up in mm -hmm. what we believe mm -hmm. and how we think and our way, we forget about his way. And his way is the way that we desire. Sometimes it life. don't look like it should be that way, but it's the way he's got planned. That's right. And it makes such a difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we get our own selves in the way too much in life and trusting him. And we're going to touch on that word trust in a few minutes too, mm -hmm. a little bit more uh, as the evening goes on because uh, it is so important that we place our trust in Him. And there's times that we wonder, well, uh, is it, are we going the right direction? But if we're following the path that He has laid out, it definitely is. Wade, what do you think if that means there when it says trust in Him? That word trust, what do you think that's saying for trust people that are watching? It, well, to me, when we trust in Him, if yeah. we trust, we're putting aside our thoughts, our ways, and we're committing ourselves to what He wants, mm -hmm. uh, the way He would have us to be, the direction He'd have us to go, what He would have us to do. That's when we trust Him uh, that makes such a difference, Gwen. And do you think maybe sometimes we think we might know a better way and we just step out and do something knowing we hadn't really gone to him and said, Lord, we now we trust you to direct our path. How many times have 
Well, I think that's one of the fallacies of being human yeah. is that we try to figure things out ourselves. Yeah. We think we know the way to do things. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, sometimes what God asks us to do may seem, wow, this is crazy. This, right. this can't be. Mm -hmm. But it's not what uh, we want. It's what He wants for our lives. And as crazy as it may look, it's that outcome that we need to look for that he has for us. It it's kind of reminds me of the day that we went into Sam's. And you probably thought that'd be a, a little unusual to, to tell that lady, you know, you could tell she wasn't feeling good, but you you stepped on out and just said, you know, we're I'm gonna be praying for you. And you did pray for her right then. Well, what I did was I <laughs> just looked at her and I could tell something wasn't yeah. right. And I said, are you okay? And she said, no, I, I have a, a headache, a migraine. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, we just can't have that in Jesus' name. It has to go. Mm -hmm. That's all I said to her. But what if you hadn't have done that? And all. But well, you, felt, I, you felt like the, I'd have missed the, the moment. Yeah. I'd have missed that moment. But uh, as you know, as we started <laughs> to leave, she was watching for us. Yes. And she came over, and I never will forget the way she said it. She said, uh, sir, you know those words that you said to yeah. me? My headache's gone. See, because you trusted in him, you trusted in his word, she got that, a healing right there. That was it. I'm telling you right now, God Obedient. Is, I know it, I know it. Wade, why don't you take a minute and just have prayer as we open up this service. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this privilege, Lord, yes. to be here tonight. Lord, we just ask you to have your way, Father. I know there are those that are going to be calling in, yes. Lord, with many needs. But yes, as your Father. word comes forth in testimony and song, I pray, Father, that lives are going to be touched and changed. And we give you the praise for it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Mike Upright is our special guest singer tonight. And he's going to be coming over a little later in the program. But he's going to do two songs right now. Thank God for the ways. One of my favorite, when I lay my Isaac down. I put my boat upon the ocean I drifted all along Convinced that I could do Anything on my own Till a mighty tempest came and showed me something more and my broken vessel lay upon the rocky shore. But I thank God for the waves that pushed me to the rock. I know it was the storm that brought me to this spot Although I didn't like it When the howling winds blew hot I thank God for the waves That pushed me to the rock Strange friends when sufferings come along. It happened to our Lord, it'll happen to his own. But he holds the waters in the hollow of his hand, and he watches o'er his children till they reach the promised land. So I thank God for the waves that pushed me to the rock. I know it was the storm that brought me to this spot. Although I didn't like it when the house winds blew hot 
I thank God for the waves that push me to the rock. I thank God for the waves that push me to the rock. It's a good place right now for you just to slip your hand up and worship him. I'm telling you, we're having church here tonight. It's what it's all about. It's all about him, lifting him up, praising him. Isn't that right, Wade? It is. And, uh, you know, like we were talking earlier, he inhabits the praises yes, of he his does. people. And when we get lost in his presence, <laughs> that that is so wonderful such a wonderful place to be when you say that i think of pastor jack that's right you know when song, he sang that song lost in the presence of, of the sweet, sweet holy, holy ghost, ghost. <laughs> it was so wonderful but that's a great place to be in when you're it, just lost in him it is <laughs> and, and you know gwen we're going to take just a few moments here tonight and touch on some scriptures and uh uh and see why it's good to be lost in the presence yes. of that sweet Holy Ghost. Uh, as you well know, over the past uh, months and the past couple, three years, uh, things have gone rough and, and things have been hard. People have been out of church due to the sickness. People have uh, uh, gone through hard times 
uh, with the sickness and things that go along with it. Uh, and it's created even today with the way things are going uh, with uh, inflation and all and uh, costing people more to live and uh, more to, to pay out of their pockets and try to make ends meet. Uh, it helps create a fear in people. But you know, when we're walking with the Lord, there's no place for fear. And I want to share real quick to start with here uh, some scripture. And it's a great scripture, Psalms 91. And it reads like this. And uh, remember I told you in the beginning the scripture we had in Proverbs, the word trust. Listen for that word. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That secret place yes. is not just a prayer closet. It's a lifestyle. We should be living with a lifestyle of His presence constantly. And I will say unto the Lord, He is my refuge. He is my fortress. My God in Him will I what? Trust. Trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers. Oh, what a place to be is under His wings. And under His wings shalt thou what? Trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Don't be afraid. Don't let fear overcome you. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee. Oh, yes. Oh, praise God for Thank that. Thank you, Lord. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because he hath made the Lord, which is my, what's that? Refuge, mm -hmm. even the Most High, thy habitation. That means to inhabit, to be with. He's our habitation. We should, we should again, that lifestyle, mm -hmm. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels, Gwen, charge that. over thee mm. and keep thee in all thy ways. So right there in that part of this chapter, mm -hmm. we don't have to fear what comes our way. Worry. We don't have to put up mm -hmm. with it. We need to walk with our heads up, mm -hmm. trusting in his word and believing and holding to God's unchanging hand. That is so good. Amen. Amen. And we're going to come back with more. Wow, that's a rich word. We're going to go to Mike now. He's going to, what appropriate song. We've been through storms. Mike Upright. As I look upon his handiwork And I'll proclaim his mercy and his grace I just might shout when I tell of all he's done for me But for now I'll rest, we've been through storms before yeah, I've seen storms, I've heard Satan's boisterous thunder Sail through waters, I just knew would take me under I've known troubles, when the hounds of hell were howling at my door But I'm still here 
Yeah, we've been through storms before And I shall rejoice As I look upon his handiwork And I'll proclaim His mercy and His grace I just might shout When I tell of all He's done for me But for now I'll rest We've been through storms before It's in the waiting That's the place my faith is renewed No stronger shelter Than when I'm being held by you If overwhelmed Lord, let me be Overwhelmed by the magnitude Of my great God Who is faith and true I shall rejoice as I look upon his handiwork and I'll proclaim his mercy and his grace I just might shout when I tell of all he's done for me But for now I'll rest We've been through storms before Right now I'll rest We've been through storms before It's so good to have you, Micah Price. Thank you for having me. I was, I was thinking about how the word Wade was sharing was tying right to this song. I thought about, about that. Did you think about it As I listened to y'all talking, I said, it's like we planned it and we didn't really. I know, but God did. Yeah. <laughs> We're so glad to have you here with us tonight. Well, what a blessing. And I know you out there, you're enjoying it too. We'd love to hear from you tonight. It's been a while since Mike Upright's been here with us, and we're just so glad to have him. We had to let him heal. Yeah, it's exactly right. <laughs> we let everybody oh, get better. Yeah. That's, that's a big, Are you doing a lot of traveling? Are you doing a lot of traveling now? Well, you know, not as much as I used to. You know, I used to do like 200 dates a year. But, wow. Um, 10 hours of driving feels different at 58 than it did at 28. I got that. 28. <laughs> uh, I understand so we've that. We've cut back some. and. Uh, yeah. We got to where we feel like a bowl of cereal at our house is better than any restaurant. You know how it goes. We, we do that a lot at our house, too, as well. The yeah. only thing is he eats one brand and I eat another. <laughs> well, it, maybe he doesn't get his hand bit that way. <laughs> I know you're going to do another song, and in a little while you're going to come over there and join me. I'm looking forward to I it. I just wanted to say welcome. Well, welcome. You just make yourself precious, at home you're here. You're a precious lady. Bless my heart the way you worship the Lord. Uh, that's that's I, that's my heart. Yeah. That's my heart. All right. He's going to do a song now. He's holding his own. My cup right. There's a battle going on Between right and wrong The common ground where once we stood is gone In a world filled with hate When it seems we've lost our way How's God doing? He's holding his own. He's holding his own like he promised to. 
Those two nail-scarred hands won't ever let me go. That old cross that brought me grace each day reminds me how's God doing? He's holding his own. When my last breath is gone and I take my flight for home, how's God doing? He'll be holding his own. Thank you, Lord. He's holding his own like he promised to. Those two scarred hands won't ever let me go that old cross that brought me grace each day reminds me how's God doing he's holding his own that old cross that brought me grace each day reminds me how's God doing he's holding his own Amen. What a beautiful song. You know, we were talking a minute ago about, you know, fear and all that people have been through. And we have no need to fear because of Him. The Lord is our strength. He's our refuge. You know, He's, he's the banner that goes before us in any situation that we may find or catch ourselves in. So, you know, we use the word trust that came up several times there. And it's so important that we trust in Him. And during these past months, one of the things that's triggered fear was uh, sickness. So much sickness, Gwen, was around and people going through things and all. And uh, I want to go to, uh, I think uh, here, touch on a scripture that's Isaiah. And it's in 53 and 5, I believe. And it reads like this. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. He chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. It didn't say we might be. Or going to be. Or going to be. He, we are healed. Mm -hmm. He's already paid that price. He bore those stripes for you and me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so there again, we can come to him and say, Father, I want to thank you mm -hmm. for all that I've come through. I want to thank you for what you're doing. Gwen, you know, in his ministry, when he first started, he went through the land preaching in the synagogue and places, teaching and healing. Mm -hmm. And people came to him uh, for that uh, healing. And uh, I know that uh, all we have to do is trust in him, mm -hmm. place that trust. So 
there's a story I want you to tell in a minute uh, when we come to it on one of the, your favorite stories, how the woman with the issue of blood, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she trusted, she pressed her way. She did. In fact, she said if, and she had tried everything. She'd been to every That's doctor. Right. She had spent everything that she had, that she didn't have anything else. But she said with her mouth, right. she said, if I could just but touch the hem of his garment, I know. Whew. She didn't say I might, or there's a good chance. She said, I know I'll That's be made right. whole. And sometimes you have to get that down in your heart. It can't just be in A your mind head. Thing. <laughs> you can't just imagine and you can't, because this woman had had this for years and years and years. And, and back then, if you were in that situation, they called you unclean. You couldn't even be out. But that day, she took a chance even with her life, saying, That's if right. I could just but touch the hem of his garment, I know I should be made whole. That's right. And she was. He said, who touched me? Virtue has gone out of me. Shoo, I could shout on that tonight. Absolutely. He knew, Wade, he knew whew, that she'd received her healing. That's right. Is it too hard for me to receive mine? It's not, is it, Wade? No. We just have to stand. And it don't come when we think it ought to come sometimes. Look how long she waited. It came when it was God's time. Amen. I love that. Oh, I could, I could just take off on that tonight. I know. I could. We're going back to Mike. He's going to do another couple of songs. God saves, O oh, sinners, and but for the blood. Oh, let's just rejoice with him tonight. Amen. <laughs>
is that he would say a sinner like me is that he would say a sinner like me hands up and give God praise. Thank God for the blood that he shed for me and you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you, his presence is so sweet in this house tonight, Wade. I know you've been sharing some really good word tonight. We'll I, give you a few minutes just to continue. Well, I'd like to kind of just, well, you can't wrap up. This could go on for oh, hours and hours and hours. <laughs> but I like, I've talked about a little bit about fear how fear has gripped the people over these past few years. And we've touched on scripture that we should not fear. We should not worry because we serve a mighty God that is in control. Mm -hmm. And I'll leave you with just a few scriptures tonight to touch on here that uh, Isaiah 43 and uh, I'll do uh, one and two. It says, but now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. And uh, I have called thee by thy name. I love that. Oh, he knows our name, Gwen. Yes, amen. I have called thee by thy name, and thou art mine. Mm. 
When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, they shall not, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Right there, there is such a promise right there that we have. We don't have to worry about what comes our way uh, because God is in control. And I want to slip over here to, I think it's uh, 40 uh, chapter. Ah, saying basically the same thing. 31st verse. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Gwen, what a promise we have. Amen. That no matter what comes our way, yes. we're more than able. We're conquerors in Christ Jesus. Amen. And if you're watching right now and you've received this word tonight, I want you at home just to slip your hand up and say, thank you, Jesus, for my breakthrough. Thank you for my healing. Thank you that my children are coming in. There's nothing too hard for God. Boy, this first hour is coming gone. We'll be right back.